TikTok is fighting to stay alive in the United States as pressure builds in Washington to ban the app if its Chinese owner don't sell the company. But the widely popular platform, developed with homegrown Chinese technology, isn't accessible in China. You know the fact? TikTok wasn't accessible in China, but it was developed in Chinese technology developed by a Chinese national person. In fact, it's never existed there. Instead, there is a different version of TikTok, a sister app called Darwin. Both are owned by Beijing-based parent company, ByteDance. The company name is ByteDance, but Douyin launched before TikTok and became a viral sensation in China. Its powerful algorithm became the foundation for TikTok and is key to its global success. But the platform, similar on the surface, play by Stark by different rules. The company ByteDance, which was owning TikTok now, was founded by Zhang Kiming. He was a former Microsoft employee and he launched the app in 2016. The app name is Dovin, which is the sister app for TikTok and has created so much revenue for the company ByteDance before TikTok. And in the year 2017, the privately owned tech company, which is the ByteDance, bought a US-based video startup and released TikTok as the overseas version of Dovin. It also bought popular lip-syncing app Musical.ly and moved those users onto TikTok in 2018. And here we need to ensure the fact that both Doyun and TikTok is the app which was launched by one single company called ByteDance. It is a Chinese company and the founder of ByteDance is a Chinese citizen. And China has one of the world's strictest censorship regiments and Doyun must follow the rules. Internet watchdogs crack down regularly on online dissent and block politically sensitive information from internets across China. When we searched Tiananmen 1989 in Doyun, nothing came up. We were stuck. And what Tiananmen Mask you is, is the incident when Chinese troops cracked down brutally on pro-democratic protesters in Beijing. And this history has been wiped from Chinese textbooks. Chinese history book, you can't find a single word of Tiananmen Mask you in China. Any discussion of the event is strictly censored and controlled over China. When we searched the same phrase in TikTok, it yielded with many results, including videos of users talking about what happened and a brief Wikipedia blurb summarizing the event. Actually, it is so interesting to see this contradiction in this one company with these two faces. Another key difference between these two apps, Doyun and TikTok is, Doyun takes a much stricter line on young users. Young users? Users under 14 can access only child-safe content and use the app for just 40 minutes a day. They can't use the app from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. For years, China has tried to curb video gaming addiction and other unhealthy online habits. It announced a curfew for online gaming for minors in 2019 before outright banning online gaming during weekends and weekdays for minors. And TikTok took some similar steps earlier this month, announcing that every user under the age of 18 will soon have their accounts defaulted to a one-hour daily screen time limit. Though teenagers and teenage users will be able to turn off this new default setting. And China, what's the purpose of introducing this new new default method? Even we can turn off this. You are thinking that under the age of 18, the TikTok users can't know how to turn off these default settings? I don't know what's the use of this. We can make a private app to, to set the screen time as one hour. You are keeping your default settings as a strict order in your China. And what's about rest of the world? And while moving to United States, TikTok is not the only Chinese-owned platform finding viral success in the United States. Of the top 10 most popular free apps on Apple's US Apple Store, four were developed with Chinese technology. Besides TikTok, there is a shopping app called Timu, fashion and a fast fashion retailer app called Shein, and video editing app called CapCut, which is also owned by ByteDance, the same company which owned TikTok. TikTok remained hugely popular in the United States with more than 150 million monthly users, which is almost half of the country's population. It remains to be seen whether TikTok can convince US lawmakers. And what if TikTok is being banned in US? What's gonna replace TikTok? 
and there are a lot of questions about tiktok if it is banned in usa and your comments are welcomed here stay tuned and connected with inkless sangadi